problem identification, consistency of all coffee beverages across all McDonald's locations promotes customer satisfaction and reverses coffee sale declines. During a routine visit to 16 Southern California locations, one cup of regular brewed coffee with two creamers and two sugars was ordered. It was found that each coffee was drastically different. It is important that all coffee equipment is up to date and replaced if outdated. It is also important that crew members must become aware of coffee culture in order to develop pride and passion, which in return helps develop a quality product. Low quality and inaccurate prepared coffee indicates a need for coffee beverage training to all current and new McDonald's employees. So our aim is to reverse coffee declines by building consumer credibility through improving consistency and using holistic levers to reboot brewed coffee inside the restaurants. And basically what this means is we need consistency across all McDonald's restaurant locations. This includes updating equipment, the way you speak to the customer, the procedure for making coffee, etc. So some of the goals, the top goals that we need in order to achieve this is to use proper coffee pots, properly stock coffee before each shift, properly stock creamer and sweetener dispensers before and after each shift, promote customer satisfaction through consistent coffee, know how to use various coffee machine functions, properly clean coffee machines after each shift, establish equipment ordering process, replace any equipment not in compliance with new standards, manage coffee during breakfast versus rest of day coffee procedures, proper coffee hold time knowledge, and know what is in coffee assembly stations. Now, our final ranking of these goals would be these three. Uh, one is promote customer satisfaction through consistent coffee by using exact same machines at each McDonald's location. Number two is to replace out of date equipment. And number three is training of consistent coffee making procedures across all restaurant locations. The primary audience is male and female team members. This is typically their first job. Ages might range from 14 to early 20s. They are mostly back of the house workers, but they still require a pleasant attitude and a good work ethic. They must wear the proper uniform daily and show up on time. They have a physical and mental capability to carefully follow directions and use the coffee machines. Our secondary audiences include other restaurant personnel, including owner operators, director of operations, beverage organization leads, and general managers. These are the people in position of authority who are also well seasoned to the company. They must have a mental and physical capability to understand and follow directions, as well as using the coffee machines to teach hands-on to other staff. There are three distinct audiences. First, all genders ages 14 through early 20s being their first job. Um, second, beverage organization leads and general managers in restaurants. Third, owner operators and director of operations who oversee restaurant experience at a corporate level. The physical requirements include able to lift up to 20 pounds, having good hygiene and grooming, the mental capabilities to understand and follow directions. Lastly, the specific educational and training requirements include basic literacy skills consistent with a 14 year old student level and company operation training. So the objective of the learning modules are designed to go hand in hand with the aim. You know, um, they're seeking to ensure that the aims that were set for instruction are met. Again, the aim is to ensure that um, actually it's to reverse the decline in coffee sales by ensuring that every cup of coffee produced in McDonald's is a consistently quality, high quality product. So. Um, 
along that lines, the first objective for the training module is that the learner will correctly demonstrate how to make a cup of coffee. They'll correctly demonstrate the procedure, um, the step-by-step -step procedure for how to make a cup of coffee. Um, the second one is that the learner will operate correctly or demonstrate um, the knowledge of operating the coffee equipment. So not only will they know how to, like which buttons to press, how to actually operate the equipment, but how many bags of coffee go into the equipment um, if you have a 1.5 gallon brew, for example. The third objective is concerned with making sure the staff have the tools they need in order to properly produce that cup of coffee. So this one is aimed at the management staff. Um, it is seeking to make sure the management staff knows what equipment to order and when to order equipment when necessary. Like what criteria need to be met, what criteria make it necessary to order new equipment. Uh, the fourth objective sets a standard of success for the beverage lead. Um, in order for the beverage lead to demonstrate knowledge of how to properly um, produce a cup of coffee, they have to be able to pass a test at at least 80% accuracy. And the final objective is to make sure the learner is aware of coffee culture so they know exactly why each step that they're taking to produce a quality cup of coffee is very important. To help the learner restep, retain sorry, the steps for properly making a cup of coffee, uh, one of the members of our design team has created a step-by-step -step guide to be used as a job aid. The intention is to have that job aid displayed inside of the coffee station. It's going to be uh, presented in infographic style and it'll be there kind of like a desk reference um, so they can have it on hand and remember the steps long after the module is completed.